I think it's tempting sometimes to kind of equate creativity with, with a kind of madness. Simply put, we are looking to make the very best deals we can for Canadian produced content. I worked hard and I got a lot of breaks, a lot of, a lot of tiny little breaks that added up to a career. And there was something about this movie that made me think, somebody would have to say, what if that was me that was in this horribly violent situation? Because I'm such a nerd with, with all those movies, I'm like, that's, I want my next film to be like Hong Kong art house, French Nouveau. That's what I want to do. We are in charge of our own destiny, and that's basically what Belva did. She took charge of her own destiny. It's quite touching. I mean, people don't want to talk about periods, and people no. don't want to, you know. And we sort of like, you know, we say it's about bloody time short about periods. And that's sort of what this film's about. It's what the movement's about. Queen of the Morning Calm is about a young immigrant sex worker and her little girl, and their search for the true meaning of love. There are just so many incredible stories like this that need to be told, and I just feel so honored to be putting on screen these women's stories. You cannot adjust a sketch. It's been written. Everyone has copies of it, and if it's not funny, it just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> I was just like, um... We approach the character of Anne uh, with a lot of love. She comes to cannabis, she comes to dealing from a wellness perspective. She cares about her clients, she cares about the community. It's not a stoner comedy. So the story follows this uh, kite helper that wants to make it big and like develops himself and then gets sidetracked into La Dolce Vida and that's based on true events. And the winner of the Borsos Award for Best Cinematography uh, is Ciliana Cardenas for The Cuban. It's just getting bigger and better and the excitement is ramping up and it's, uh, I couldn't imagine this film premiering anywhere else. I, I really, I'm grateful to you for, for seeing um, what we were trying to achieve with this very incredibly personal film. So thank you. The winner for this year's Best Picture for the Borsos Awards is Antigone. I'm, I'm so glad that, that I see so many uh, great films by women. Uh, it's been a few years now that we see more of them. And, and, and again, like, thank you for this. Film.